hi, uh, I'm Remy Rollet. I'll talk about you. I'll talk to you about templates for about an hour. So you will have questions. It's very, it's it's arcane. It's it's fancy magic sometimes. But um, I believe that recently s some patterns have emerged to simplify how you do templates um, in a very special way. Um, I'll show you what went. But first, I'll do a um, a very small recap on. <coughs> everything that is the, the, the template stuff and the new stuff that was added to C++11. And again, my English is not my first language, so it, it, I'll have some hesitations so from, uh, from time to time. Uh, the thing that you must remember is that the expansion of the variadic templates uh, solve everything that we ever wanted in templates metaprogramming. It, it allows, allows us to just put a lot of types and just push it somewhere else and, and do, do it with a nice interface, um, because before that we had we had the type list one after the other that that is recursive to itself and it's it was a mess. But now we have a clean interface. So I'll do a simple quick recap on templates on the thing that you can do with uh, with it for now. So let's start. The very first <laughs> we, we start we start strong. <laughs> so the first template that you have to know is pair. Pair is the very first. The, the most basic template that you can have, it's simply a type that contains two, two types of data. Uh, it can be in, float, whatever, whatever. Th but you access it through uh, first and second. And since they, ha they didn't have any var uh, variadic template, they, they could not create the, the equivalent of tuple at the time. Uh, pair was made with the STL for nine, uh, C++ 98. Uh, the second one, the second thing that you can do for with templates is creating a default um, default parameter. Um, as you as you know, when you write vector of int, it will create a vector of int with the std allocator of this int. It's parameterized to just quickly fill the the the, the, the t with the argument there, and the rest is implementation detail. But if you want to provide a, a custom allocator, this is where you put it there. And the STL, we assume that you, that you, uh, that you, write your, that you wrote your uh, allocator correctly, which is, can be surprising sometimes. Um, and the allocator is what to wrap around the, the new and the delete for, for pointer. Okay, but since um, C++11, so, well, before C++11, there was some discoveries made with Boost and Boost created the type traits um, file, the, the type traits uh, sub-library, I'll, I'll call it that, for, like that, where they, um, they gather all the things that they discovered they can do with, with templates and put it under a relatively stable uh, uh, library. And they, all of those fancy functions like is floating point, is integral, all derive from integral constant. Integral constant is very <laughs> easy to remember, it's just, you put t in a, in a value uh, of t inside of it. You cannot put a lot of. You cannot put everything in there. It's not magic. It's, it's you, you must provide something that is compile time available. So, but technically, an integral constant is, is simply a static constant for t value equals to the value that you provide there. So, for example, a con integral constant of bool and true is the default true type, and obviously bool and false is the default false type. So when you access integral constant, most of the time you want to access this, this value there, where you can say, okay, I want to get the value, you say uh, colon colon value, and then it's true or false, depending on your logic. But everything else de derived from it. For, for example, um, I'll show you in a, in a slide next, I'll call about is same, if, and I'll show you how it's implemented. Uh, but the, the next thing you can do with template is specialize them, and you can get crazy with specialization. This is where the, the if there's one thing that I can say about my, my old talk is specialize, specialize. <laughs> Everything is specializable. Uh, so, but you have to be careful because the names doesn't carry to the next specialization. For example, I purposely um, do something funky there where the U and the T is like in, in the, the signature of this template, it's T and U, and I will specialize there. 
where the int is the t and the t is the u there. It's a positional, um, the, logical, the logic is positional. The first argument is always, in the case of vector, for example, the type that you want to do have a vector of. But for every template, it's always the first one is this, the first second one is that. And you can mix the names over where you, over where you want. It will always be the logic of uh, this, uh, the, the, the first one, the second one. And just, have, just to, to let you know that uh, this is related to that. Um, because you have to say everything that is in there, you must say that it's a type name. It's the it's the, the the way to do specialization. Uh, next <laughs> is the most powerful <laughs> templates of them all, the variadic one. Uh, forget about this for the moment. Just have template type name dot 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 ts for it's a plural of t. <laughs> Struct type list, and that's the whole implementation of type list. Now you can write something like um, Type list of int, float, chart, uh, ad infinitum, until, uh, up until the compiler is not able to, <laughs> to, to, to write the, the, the pretty function of it. <laughs> um, and you can specialize those, ty those type lists. Um, type name first, type name rest. And now when, you pro when, I say the, the, when I want to specialize this, it's for the type list of first and the rest expanded. And I have a type there first called first. This is just a, a dummy specialization. Don't, uh, I just wanted to show how do you, s do you get the first one. And you can also put the second, etc. but you cannot get the last. You cannot get the last, and this is the whole problem of, of, uh, of templates. Okay, next slide. Well, now I'll sh I've shown you how, what you can do with it, and now what you can't do with it. Okay, so, <laughs> don't compile. <laughs> this the type def, Type as an expander uh, 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 is expanded there, but you cannot have a type that represents multiple types. That's that's obvious. But what you can do in those case in this case is have a type list of the TS, and this is one type. So you can get multiple of things as long as you are consistent on the on which type list you want. It's gonna be fine. Um, you but you must return uh, only one type at a time. Next, okay, uh, yeah, you cannot specialize something default in the specialization. It's, it's, <laughs> you cannot do that because it will be weird where you say, especially if you have a, a dot, 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 that doesn't mean it can be zero or a lot of those. So if your type name T is defaulted, if you write, uh, uh, what is the name, error, and then you just put the brackets, is it the int or is it nothing? We, the, the compiler is confused and, and, and true up. Next, uh, those dot, dot, dots and those equal default fight for the last po position, both of them. So they, you, cannot have, uh, you cannot have them at the last position at the same time, so you cannot have uh, a default template and a, a, a variadic one on the same specialization or signature or whatever. You cannot do that. Um, so even if I switch them up, you cannot do that. Uh, next, ah oh, yeah, yeah. I've tried to make this work, <laughs> to do some fancy logic, to just get, get like a specialization of something else and nothing works. Uh, so you, the, the logic is if you're expanding two variadics, you cannot know where one begin and one start, if it makes sense. So uh, is in float, but because it can be anything between TS include in float and int or in US nothing and everything else in between. Next, <laughs> the reason I forbid every unsigned int template. Because if you put an unsigned int and you put a minus one, Clang will crash. <laughs> but <laughs> GCC no, <laughs> it will do this, which is fine, <laughs> but you don't want that. And when you want to get this ty the, the type of this UI, it will fail to instantiate, instantiate it. And since you are in a recursive uh, template instantiation, the first one, the, the, this one will crash, and then, all, and then everyone else will crash, and then it will just fail to compile and have a novel of error, of compiler error. Yeah. Which version of Clang are you 
Oh, I'm on. <laughs> yes. <laughs> okay. So um, the ver the version I'm developing uh, and that I've tested with Cl with Clang is uh, Clang seven, and Clang and I'm developing with GCC eight dot three, I guess. But my goal is to have GCC four dot three. <laughs> yeah. Think about this <laughs> for a moment. I don't have alia uh, template alias, <laughs> nor constexpr. <laughs> okay. Next. <laughs> um, Strings, string RMS, string, string. You ca you cannot put them in the in the in the templates, unless you do this char dot dot dot, and you wrote all of this beautiful uh, quote, <laughs> the letter quote, and then como, and then you continue up until for every letter. <laughs> for I, 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 at this point, you, uh, it's not worth it to just to try to use them as a template. I know that some recent compiler do, do, does it. Fine. <laughs> but, uh, but, but I can't. Yes? Can you try using like a, a constar pointer in your like Yes, yes. So you will have a constar pointer. And when you want to uh, uh, dereference the constar pointer, well, that's not, a, that's not a value. There's, no, there's nothing inside. Uh, in it, so it's it's just constar pointer. It's not constar pointer of everything there. I know yeah, it sounds logical. Like yeah, but well, maybe with constexpr, maybe with plus plus twenty, maybe with an uh, as a weird way to do it with a macro. But <laughs> <laughs> the, be the, the 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 my way to do that it will be to have a type where the the, the you have an in, uh, constar pointer type it with cons, and then you get this type, but you cannot play with it. So why bother? Just Write their struct as you would have write it the the the, con the construct pointer. <laughs> uh, next, <laughs> you cannot use fl uh, float because float is not the, uh, zero dot five is not the same as one div divide by two in floating point representation. So you cannot do that. Maybe with constexpr, I saw you, <laughs> but and there is some compiler recently that can do that. But yes. Yeah, with the caveat, <laughs> with the caveat that they don't, that they they may might not uh, represent the same value. I've seen that. But I agree, there are still debates about people who want to pull it out anyway. Yeah. Some yeah. Okay. So, so we're discussing t uh, floats okay. inside of of uh, un templates, and I'm on the side of uh, you can work around those, but it's for another talk. <laughs> Next. Where's my class? Okay. Is same. I promise that I will talk about is same. This is the whole implementation of is same. You have a is same of two types, which if you have two types, you will return false because it's not uh, it's not the same type. And when you are specializing for two t's, exactly the same t, well, you return you have you inherit from two type, which we remember is bool integral constant of bool, which contain the boolean constant of the true or false. And that this is the is same in float value. This is equal to false. This will be in, in an assert. It will work. Uh, next. Where do I want? Yes. Uh, do we just have this? Uh, yes. I guess. Um, I don't remember when I, want, when I wanted to talk about that. <laughs> This is must be just for oh yes this is just for uh, showing how you can just specialize for one for a lot of things and you just specialize for one a lot of things and you specialize for int s t s so int is the first s is the second and t s is the rest you can do things like that and you can also wrap them inside this type list and just have one type named type list. And inside of it, every everything uh, everything that is there, it will work. Uh, what is that? Yeah, I'm just talking about uh, everything is is inherited from uh, integral constant. And um, yeah, this is the old way to do variadic. You just you have a type t and itself. So you put t s of t. So you have t s int, t s float, t s double, and you close everything. So it's nested. This is the, this was the old way to do variadic, and um, I've seen some compiler error that give me the the, the 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 hint that it might be the variadic templates might be implemented like that 
in the in their compiler internals. Mystery. Next. Where am I? Okay, so the interface is terrible <laughs> because, um, for for example, just for conditional, you have to provide a true or false, and if it's true, you'll get the true, and if it's false, you'll get the false, which is okay, which is, which work. So the type, the return type of every type is type. Don't try to to be fancy. The return type of type is type. Okay. <laughs> um, so you type the ft for in case it's anything. And if it is false, you return the false one. And since Boolean only have two values, well, <laughs> this one is always true. Heh, <laughs> easy. But there's a problem there. It's called memorization of types. This is, this is a, um, I suggest to you to walk, uh, to talk, uh, not talk, to listen to some talks uh, from Odin Holmes and Chill. Uh, I, I may butcher those names, sorry. But they, they talk about the number of time a template is instantiated. is able to remember them. So the second time you, you call the same template, it, it's, much more, uh, it's much more fast. So if you do a, a, a comparison of true and false, and only thing you're returning is, is the first or the second one, you must instantiate a new template for every possible or every time you call this conditional. And if you're lucky, and sometime you, you return, if, even if they return the same thing, if, if you have the two, the, if, you have, if, if you have true, and, uh, and a lot of time the same, the same one at the, uh, for the true, and not the same one for the false, every one of them will be instantiated differently. But for, for um, improving this compile time performance, what you must do, and this is weird, we'll call it if, it's templated to receive a constant of bool, and inter the internal of this type will have another templated class, <laughs> which, which we, we will always call f, or as long as you're consistent. Um, and this one will have the type that we are interested in. And what we'll do to call that will if false, template f those type and you get the type and it work <laughs> so the logic is i see your question is that you'll get this the first one will be look at it will go into false those this template will get there will just take the f there f int and float int and float type and since it will just go there and know that it's f, which is float. Ooh. OK, let's talk about template. This, this thing, OK, is there for a very, a very bad reason. It's just that, technically, if f wasn't a type and it was a value, anything, you, it, the compiler could have read this as, let's remember, we don't have template. If false, uh, colon colon, because I'm still writing colon colon, but not template, colon colon, f less than int, <laughs> comma float, uh, greater than, blah, 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 and then it, it, it trash. So you must say template. But my, my advice for template is squeeze your eyes and pretend it doesn't exist. <laughs> and everything will be fine, because nobody is doing the, the thing that, we, that, that I just said, providing those weird things of float and uh, of f uh, less than equal and blah, blah, blah. OK, so <laughs> yes? Technically, it's going to be even faster than that. You can use a templated alias. Maybe you cannot use ah, that. Blah, blah. Technically, OK, yeah. Maybe you cannot use that. Some, uh, uh, yes, templated alias are supposed to be very fast. There is a, a little bit of flaws in how, on when it's insensitiated, insensitiated. But yeah, I, I understand what. And Probably, but memorize is even faster. <laughs> okay, yes? I have an idea from your explanation of, uh, of why it's just because the, the writing style is faster. Um, it's why does the compiler do Okay, faster? because if false is already instantiated somewhere else when it's false, and the rest that it must instantiate it is int and float. 
and intent float may have been somewhere else also. But it knows that false will be reused. Just as <laughs> the first time I was explaining that, I, I, I just said, I just assume it worked. <laughs> and I. <laughs> Yeah. Yeah. Yes. Uh, um, quick question. Can you like do parent for template and one after that picture? So, sorry, what? If I were to put a parent for template, then uh, after yeah. the double colon, then exactly. for template. And after the yes, would that would that work? I, I I don't understand. You mean you, you remove the template? No, no, no. I just put a parent. Um, nope. Okay. Nope. This will be this will be even worse. You'll you'll create a tie. Um, uh, a variable <laughs> in between those two parentheses, and then it will try to do a, a um, that your is you will be trying to convert the f into the type whatever it is and say less than whatever. <laughs> Next. <laughs> okay, so um, so recently we um, there was some this not discoveries a lot of trials and error and a guy named Odin only is, is at his fourth. Uh, a template library, fourth. <laughs> One is enough for me. <laughs> um, to provide a better interface. So you don't, you don't have to write all of those um, templates and type name because type name is dependent on whatever. Just, it, it, the, the goal was to provide a better interface. But we'll, the first thing I'll do is talk about historically and some other example of what um, what some libraries are doing and I'll I'll try to, do, to keep the, the, all of those uh, examples from libraries as the same example. I may, have not, I may not have worded that correctly, but I'll show you. Uh, I don't remember any of that. So yeah, we'll, we'll go slowly through template metaprogramming library, slowly. First, the oldest of them, Boost MPL. Oh boy. <laughs> it, uh, <laughs> oh. <laughs> E, this is bad, <laughs> but okay. Let's go very, very slow. Um, the goal will be to filter things. In this case, partition there will receive a list of things, and just uh, the 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 one that that uh, corresponds to the predicate that returns true type, it will put the first. And the second, and the, the rest will be to will go to the f to the to the second list type. Okay, so the first thing it is doing is, is creating a range of constant. That's that's, that's the nomencl nomenclature of in from zero to ten. And will uh, provide a predicate is a that we define here as it receive any type. And check the value. Oh, we, we've seen this thing. This is probably an integral constant. And check if the value is uh, odd. <laughs> so, but it, it will return a bool. Another, I'll, I'll call that, it's probably a type alias uh, for, for another integral constant of bool. And this will go there. And OK. But now, where, where does this partition put them into? It will put into a back insertor. It, will, it, it was trying to replicate the STL, so back insertor of vector. But this is not the same vector at all. <laughs> this vector is a vector of um, type name t. This t values. I, I, if I remember correctly, boost MPL have a limit of the number of, of uh, variadic expansion it can do because it's so old that it, pre it predates uh, variadic expansion. So there's a limit. Just assume that it. It work. So it will put that into a, a vector, and the one that co doesn't correspond to the predicate will go into the, the second one. And it will it name this R. This R is a type def of all of this. This is a type. It get the types. Remember, the, the return value of a type is a type. <laughs> name type. And then boost MPL assert, static assert. Equal. The first, ah, this, this might, uh, th this R, this partition of things, the first, I, I'm guessing that equals check two types. So first must be the same as vector of C of one, int of one, three, five, seven, nine. And the rest, the, the even numbers. So as you can see, 
you're, you're creating a big type to do some small type. <laughs> and that's the whole logic of template metaprogramming. You're creating a lot of things just to nest to, to nest them inside itself to, to, re to give you yourself a result. For the moment, it's extremely abstract, but I'll show you an example of the usage of it later. Uh, the next, next slide. Oh, yeah, 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 I, I forgot, I forgot to talk about that. One and two. One and two is what I call a binding uh, type operation, where it will, is all, will, will receive a, a type and check the one at, at one first, the first one. And that's, and it will send this first as a type name end there. It's complicated, it is. <laughs> and that's not very, that's, that's the way it, um, it was used to do in Boost MPL. And if I see, if, if I uh, analyze correctly, in Boost MP11 also, because uh, MPL was rewritten for Viodic template in Boost MP11. Anno, oh boy, oh boy, okay. <laughs> Anno is have a different fo focus. The goal was to have heterogeneous containers, uh, a variant tuple, but set also, which is crazy to think at. And, and to provide other cool way to, to write the, the um, uh, constant conchar pointer. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they, they, are, they, they were able to do that. But, um, I'll show you an example of approximately the same thing. It's called filter, where there's no, the, the partition, where we put the predicate on the, on the first one and the, the non-respecting predicate to the second one. Now it's just called filter, so we just keep those that respect this predicate, so it's just one partition, one part of the partition. Okay. Hey, boy, what is that? Why is they called type with, oh, no, no, <laughs> I'll skip this. <laughs> I know, filter. It will make a tuple of one, two, three, four. Two of those are float. And check is integral that, that is there. So we just assume that the predicate is, is it an integral? And this must be equal to an make tuple of one tree. So we take a tuple, remove the, the, the element that is not integral, and continue with a type that only contains those with, them, with their values, which is pretty cool. Um, and now filter just tree. Is it integral? Yes, just tree is only one type, one value named tree. It's an int, so it's an integral, and this is equal to just tree. And then another thing, uh, yeah, if it's not an integral, just tree dot, well, it will return an nothing, which is a, uh, it's technically a value, but it's of from, a, I guess, an nothing t. Now, the thing that you must uh, uh, notice there is everything is a function the madness, because functions are not as easily uh, specializable as type. So kudos to the, <laughs> to the developer, <laughs> but that's insane. Just the fact that you can write a uh, function to it. So yes, uh, I think uh, I talk about everything. Do you know uh, the, uh, the origin of the function name just to represent that? Uh, just, <laughs> it's just just. <laughs> he, he just wanted to put, he, he wanted to put just that into uh, just that there, so we call it just, I guess. <laughs> yes? You talked about template you also have map, like Yeah, they have a templated map, and I'll, they also have a templated set. And that's that's crazy to think about. Just, you have a type, but you, you can, ret uh, th this tuple set will return or n will fail to compile if you, pro uh, I, uh, I'm not sure if it failed to compile or if it just, no, no, it, it will not fail to compile, it will just rewrite at the place you, uh, on the type that you already provided. Uh, yes? Uh, maybe, maybe. Maybe it's as whole that, uh, that uh, write this as just. Yes. <laughs> uh, it's available on Compiler Explorer uh, with also a, a Boost MPL. It's the standard, autoproclaim standard way to do template metaprogramming, but the goal is really to have an heterogeneous containers and to do some crazy thing. <laughs> um, yeah, and I'll, I'll, special notion on tag dispatching. Um, every type in Anno has a, like this tag, which, which is the representation of what it is supposed to do. Uh, so it, it can give that to some function and it know what it's supposed to do. It's, it's, it's a complicated story of just 
trying to make it work. <laughs> Next. Hey, Brigand. The third library of, of, of the gnomes. <laughs> uh, no, 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 sorry. The second one. The second one. We'll do the ex exactly the same thing. Oh, yeah, I forgot to talk about, uh, sorry, Anna. This. <laughs> this is the same thing as we see, see uh, on the Boost MPL, where they, it creates a predicate. But instead of returning a boom, it compose something that take a trait in his integral. This is the STD one, but without any template temp parameters, we take that as a template template. We'll come to that. What is a template template uh, soon? And then use something that is a tag of decal type to create a monstrosity of a type. <laughs> yeah, it worked. <laughs> but Briga, Briga. Um, Still uh, also available in Compiler Explorer. Well, we'll do the same thing. We'll filter out, but it's not filter. This time is the exact opposite of filter. It's remove if. Uh, yeah, so the, the, okay. So we're going to declare a type name, remove test int list. Oh, no, no this is not a predicate. This is the list. <laughs> so we're creating a list of this type, 1002. That's it. We have a type that contains 1002. Static assert. Is it the same? OK, so I, I'm sorry for the format thing, but the, those two lines are the first part of is same. Brigand, remove if this thing that we declared there, declare that there, declare it there. If it's not one. It took me a long time to just guess what it does, but my guess is still that uh, it remove everything that we, the conversion, the type conversion to bool t is not true type. Because we take the, the one and then it will return, and then, we, and then we, we invert it. And you know ints can be inverted and blah, blah, blah. Same, it try, I, I, I guess it, what it, try, it was trying to reproduce it. So it ends up with a list of one and two. So those two, since they are not, when you, when you are, uh, when you invert them, this become one and those two zero, or something something equivalent, and they are removed because they they are we are in remove if this predicate is true. So zero inverted is equal to true, and that's my guess of what is it is doing. Um, and then we get the value of this, so the static assert doesn't fail to compile. But it's still a binding uh, operation. We get this as the one, and then we just shoot in the next value at this one. It's, and are you familiar with the uh, std bind? Just, well, it's, it was, it, it's not exactly deprecated, just please don't use that. <laughs> Prefer the lambdas and std function and the cool types. <laughs> Um, but yeah, you, you can see something very similar to what we were doing before. We're taking a predicate-ish, and we just provide a list. Uh, uh, you have a question? No? OK. Next. Xavier, Xavier, that MPL. This is mm, the fourth, no, the, the third one, the third, third, third. Very important that I pronounce it correctly, third. Library of the gnome with other uh, author, obviously. There, he was never alone in any of those uh, library, but it's the guy that that talked the uh, that, that is talking much more about those library than other people. So, so let's talk about that. The goal of Xavier the MPL is is the focus is compile time performance, and no function like uh, behavior like boost uh, anno. So. But it's much more simple. As you can see, call, this is the magic type. Just assume it does everything. Filter, we know what it is. CFE. CFE is like, um, if I were to compare that to, the, to a car, this is the manual shifting. It's compil compilation from eager. I don't want to explain that. It just, it, it tries to be um, a way for, for you to differentiate differentiated be, uh, between an eager uh, algorithm and a lazy algorithm. Uh, so if you're aware of what is lazy and what is eager, eager is simply they will calculate. Uh, um, the, be the best example I have is if you have a series of Boolean that you, all, that you end all of them, 
Lazy will stop at exactly when the end goes to false. Eager will evaluate every one of them, even though it passes false and with it carry on the false. That's the logic between eager and lazy. OK, so just ignore that. <laughs> so we have less than 5. OK, what is less than 5? It's a, it's a templated uh, alias that is equal to a, an integral constant of the value is less than 5. We are, we, we are still in the um, with variadic templates, so it's C++ 11 compatible. Um, so we get those int. Int are simply an alias for integral constant. Of one, two, seven, eight. Is the, the filtering of everything that is less than five convertible, as you can see those two uh, curly bracket there, to a list of int and int. Every, every algorithm that returns multiple value must return a type list. This is this list. So it's convertible because it's exactly what it is returning. This call is, a t is also a templated alias that puts every inputs, those one, two, seven, eight, inside this monster. Are we okay? <laughs> yes? Okay, uh, since it's eager, I'm not exactly sure. Uh, well, yeah, the, the thing is that you, if you, in the case of filter, there's no way to have a lazy association because in filter, you must pro uh, check every one of them, see if they, they have a, the predicate is respected or not, and remove them if they're not. But there's no way to say, oh, I have arrived to this value, so it means that there's no other value that is, uh, uh, is non-filterable. No, it doesn't, it doesn't make sense. But there are some algorithms that are lazy able, and and that's it, <laughs> and an or, <laughs> and other other one of them. Uh, next, so two days ago, a new one, <laughs> new template metaprogramming library was released. It's called TBBML, and this is the first time we'll call about continuation, which is there's binding as a focus on what you can do with it, and there's continuation. So continuation is really nice. You get addicted to that. <laughs> but this is a library that was uh, released two days ago. And you know if, um, how can to say that? Since they don't, they don't have the same word that I use, <laughs> I'm not, I, I don't like it. <laughs> I know what it is uh, able to do and it, it's fine. It's perfectly powerful. It just, since it, it, I'm not used to the same keyword as a keyword, it's, it's like if I started to call std vector a uh, uh, list type. Nobody will like it, <laughs> but it's, that's the same way I feel about this library. But it's very powerful. So it is still using predicate, of is same. A predicate is, al is almost always um, getting the type. But this one, no. And I'm curious about why, because this should have been type name is same type. We'll see why soon. OK, so strict list, one line uh, definition of their list. Using t is equal, this is not the same t. I, using t is equal to mlf. f is the magic type that does everything. The same thing as call. Um, ML filter, oh, <laughs> this is about the fourth, <laughs> the fourth example <laughs> that I provide a filter. We'll <laughs> we know what it, it is doing. mlf uppercase, what is it? mlf uppercase is their way to say this thing contains a template template, which is there but without the T. A template template is you take this predicate and whatever is, in the in the, uh, is used as a values, you create a, a predicate, open the bracket, and whatever is inside the values, you put it there and you continue with it. That's it. That's all there is to it. Uh, yes, MLF. And then I guess the, this filter put those, all of those um, types that correspond to this predicate into Another MLF of list, eh, same thing, MLF, eh. put them into a list, int star int. So is it the same as an int? So with this, you must return to int because we remove the, the char. And this is exactly what is happening there. T is exactly the same as list of int and int. Static as well. Yay. Uh, yeah, that's just, the, 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 but the focus is on continuation. It's not a, a good, um, Example of what is a continuation? 
except that I, I'll say that this filter, if you were to put something else than list, you can continue the, 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 to do operation on the, resulting, on the result of that. And this is cool because I could have filter everything that is a int, is not is same as int, and just add cons to them, uh, fil uh, filter them for another thing, whatever. It doesn't matter, it's, we're playing with types. Okay. Okay, are you, are you ready? We're going to implement our own implemented library. <laughs> okay. Call. Call with an underscore is my implementation of call. It's very easy. You take whatever is an input, and we're going to, we are going to call next of this monstrosity of a type. And we're going to template f. I oh, remember what it, what it is. We're, it's just the, value, the, the inputs of, of our operations. And we're going to, to uh, we're simply going to take this this uh, next of the the type, and uh, insert values into into it. And that's all it's going to do. But every f have a have a type that we get there, type name. All of this gets this type, and we have call have a type there. So. That's all that we have. <laughs> That's all that is needed to start our own library of a uh, of, uh, continuation, of, an, of continuation focus uh, algorithm. Okay. Yes? So if I understand right, you expect call to always have at least one parameter? Nope. <laughs> Some algorithm don't need uh, any inputs. For example, Yes, yeah, at least it, it, it requires just one type, and this one type is the function type. Yes. Yeah, so, yeah, we assume one function type and maybe, maybe some inputs. Yeah. Okay. okay. But what we'll quickly discover is that we need something to return that. We cannot just uh, send, in, send inputs and the, those types is, is never. Uh, instantiated. We need something to be the end of our continuation. And also next is not very important, it's just, uh, I, I can write it in one line, the, the first instantiation of next, it's simply a type that contains a type, and that's it. But we are going to specialize the hell out of it. <laughs> so when next has identity, whatever f contain, if it's only one type, it's going to be type def t and type, we'll get this f will contain a type. So this will be replaced by type def, type name, next of identity, template, whatever we, we put in there. We're going to take this type that we remember is the type that we end up with. And this, and this will be the type. Type, 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 type. Um, so when we call identity of int type, we are just sending next identity of int, and then we, we return an int. That's it. That's all there is to it. This is my int. It's a variable of int. Yes? One thing that specialization is just missing the template uh, mm. bracket part? Nope. Is it not? Nope. It's only identity. Oh, yeah. Identity is, is only a struct identity that we have here. It's only identity. That's it. I, I think we meant just before. Before. Oh yeah, yeah. The next, the first, the first, the the signature of this next. Yeah, but it's like one line. I, I, I w it was messing with my formatting. So, <laughs> but it's simply next that contain one type, and that's it. Because next can only contain one type. Okay, is we are going to wrap is same. So we're going to do the same thing. Next, when it contain a is. And something that we search, and something that we will continue with. <laughs> and the logic is the f, we, um, don't focus on this, just I'll, I'll start with this line. f, um, type name is same of search type of t. t is there. This is what we re receive as an input. And we'll, rec we'll continue with is it true or is it false? That's it. Now, we're going to take this is false or is true. And send it to the next, <laughs> to the next of the uh, to the the next f template, and we're gonna get the type. 
So when we call is int and we send it int, this is true. So it's convertible to true type, obviously. So we're going to call is int. Then we're going to continue. This is the C there, the, the C that is defaulted to identity. So when I was writing is int, it was is int identity. We're going to say is int, and then we continue with the same input. Is int is, yeah, sorry. Float, is it an int? No, so we, we have a, a false type. So is false type equals to false type? Yes, so this is true. <laughs> oh, <laughs> so we have an algorithm that continue with the inputs of the previous one. And this is when the, <laughs> the, the cool things start to happen. You, you continue with the, the, the previous types. Yes. Uh, yes and no, yes and no. Depend on on the on how I can uh, declare my um, my uh, function uh, my type is or my function type. Depends. Um, <laughs> I'll I'll show you a counter example. And sometimes it is, sometimes it's not. And at some point you just it, it, at at some point it doesn't matter anymore. You're you're, you're writing things as you go, but. It, but the, the, the hard part, the really difficult part, is when you have a big algorithm and those begin to just, exp to just close one after the other. Sometimes I have a closing bracket that is missing and I'm, I don't know where, to, where I can, <laughs> where I can uh, uh, put it there. It's not, it's not just, oh, I'm going to put one or, or, one or one more and it will, it will uh, compile, no. Yes. And at this point, I'm just rewriting it. <laughs> I commented it and rewrote it. <laughs> Okay, so this is the first the first thing the the the, the first algorithm that I will show you, and I, and for the rest of the, all the implementation is I will do a copy paste because I'm not doing going to rewrite all of this. The, and the only thing I'm going to change is all uh, this thing that uh, what I want and whatever is in this f because the only thing I'm interested in is what I send to the next one. Easy. Do you think I I didn't copy paste all of this? I copy paste the hell out of it. <laughs> so listify, the logic is simple. When it's called, whatever is in the input, we'll continue with a type list of all of those inputs. And that's it. We're just going to continue with the type list, with all of those um, things. Uh, yep, and this one is transform. OK, transform is a little bit weird. Transform is supposed to do a transformation. But for doing a transformation, I need a function type. So the logic is whatever in, I'm going to call the, the continuation with, I'm going to call next because I can do that. And I'm going to put the inputs, and I will expand them. So every single type is, tran uh, is transformed to whatever this tr is. So we just continue with the next one, and the next one, and the next one up until the compiler crash because it's, it, go, it goes into a uh, too much recursion or something like this. Um, there is ways to work around the, the, the number of instantiation of the uh, recursive instantiation of the compiler. It's a mess <laughs> and it's exactly as bad as you think it is. I will not show you that because I, 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 worry, you're <laughs> I worry that it's uh, too weird <laughs> it is, because it is too weird. But it, the goal is simply to have an, a, a, a th um, a step, a function step, that um, do all of the, the uh, multiple work at once. So for example, a fold, which take two types and put the, uh, the result of this type. Um, it's a, a fold, take a, um, a binary predicate that return only one type, and just remove them a, as it goes. But if you do that, the, the, the I'll, I'll say the, the Standard way, your 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 maximum num uh, number of steps that you can take is 900. You can the for Clang um, and GCC, I think. But you, the goal is not to go to this uh, to this uh, to to this number. I hope I'm clear <laughs> because it's really not easy to explain. <laughs> Next, <laughs> oh boy. <laughs> okay, so we're gonna do a filter. Ursel, just assume that filter work. <laughs> <laughs> We're going to call 
a filter, everything that is not a pointer, okay, so filter and every uh, mo uh, type function that can result in multiple types. If I want to just do, um, how to say that, this will, this will be applied to every single one of those types. And the rest will apply to the, con is the continuation. So it will take all of this inputs and just continue. <laughs> so, but in the only thing that, that differentiate them is this cobalt. And I guess when the closing type is there. Hmm. Anyway, not important. When, when <laughs> you're going to filter all that is not a pointer, transform and add const and listify them. And since um, transform, as we can see there, as a default continuation of listify, in my algor algorithm that I was showing, listify is, n is not mandatory. You can just remove that, and it's, since it's defaulted, it will work. And we're going to put all of those TS inside of it as an input. So this will be the, the, the step by step. Um, this is a step by step of how th the function is resolved. So we start with int short pointer of string. We have this filter implementation that, that changed into true type, false type, true type, and just we remove those false type. So we, we have int of string. So we've done a filter on all, everything that is not a uh, pointer. The transform f in string, and we just add const, so const in const string. And listify will just result in, as ex, uh, instead of this f, we have a type list. And that's it. <laughs> yeah. Because if you want to continue with it, <laughs> if you want to say um, not is pointer, uh, what can I continue with isn't is pointer? Um, I don't have a, a, an example for that, but it's very useful to just say, is it a pointer true? Is it true? Sometime. So just for static assert and, and prove that it works. So is in pointer a pointer? Yes. Well, I is it true? So I'm proving with my own algorithm that my algorithm is, is, is correct. <laughs> I'll show you an example, but <laughs> just, just, uh, just, just assume that whenever you see a clo two close uh, bracket, it means the end of the continuation. So we end this uh, predicate. Yes? Sorry, I was just with this question. Could you then chain predicates? Yep. So like is pointer then is integral type then? Yep. Okay. Yep. As long as it's as long as the logic is, is correct, it will work. As long as you end up with um, filter is a, as a true or a false. Because sometimes if I pass to you a list of something and you just want to see if the first one is a pointer, how do we do that? Well, I'll take the first, the, the, the temp, the, I'll take this list, I'll unpack them because I can do that. <laughs> and I'll just uh, check the take the first one at index zero. Is it a pointer? <laughs> it works, <laughs> and it's very addicting. OK, so now, what, what was next? I guess it's, uh, yeah, this is the, the template template um, that I was talking about. This is a customization point. You can do crazy things like that as long as you put it into the type that is supposed to contain a template template, because you cannot just uh, uh, um, pass template templates easily. You have to, to wrap them into a type. So this type in particular is lift, and it's, it's a template that contains a template of that, that can contain any number of things, and class is mandatory, and we will call it f. Oh no, I forgot! I forgot to put the continuation. Damn it. <laughs> <laughs> There's a bug. <laughs> There's a bug. Okay, no, not that important. Just assume that I put the type name C is equal to identity in this case. <laughs> so when we call nef with lift of f, or just just as as a as a quick note, 
you can name something in, in, inside the state name dot dot dot, uh, for example, t's, but you can you cannot access it. I don't know why. It just it it just it doesn't make sense. Whatever, not important. Because that's not the goal. The goal of a template uh, template is for you to r to write this. You call this f with the types there as an input. So whatever we have as an input, we're going to call it with f. f can be anything. And we'll, I'll show you how to abuse it. We're going to add numbers. <laughs> Again, <laughs> this is the second time I'm talking about that. <laughs> OK, we're going to do our own type that you pro can provide very easily. You say template type name t, add 1, n. You can specialize it to anything you want. In this case, int of e, that int can contain an int. E and G, those are two numbers that I don't know, I don't know uh, what it, they are. And the type of add E is int of E plus G. And that's it. And the only thing we, we, we have to do le uh, less, less, left, left, <laughs> is to call lift of add, take those two, those two um, inputs and put it into call. It will call next at some point with lift. And the result, this is a variable because this is a type, is int of 9. And they convert because they are exactly the same thing. They're exactly the same type. It's, it's like if you have write in uh, int of 9 result equal int of 9. And you can, prob you can specialize for everything you want. It doesn't matter. I don't care. <laughs> the only thing you, you must say is I'm going to lift them. Lift uh, will get the type by default. A uh, quote will not. It will just continue with remove type name and remove type with f of ts. So I can quote anything I want. And I'm abusing this, I'm, I'm abusing this very much. Oh yeah, fold, like I said, it's taking one after the other. We're going to fold lift. So we're going to take all of those uh, inputs and add them one by one. And the result is e of 10. Uh, wait a second, this is supposed to be int. My, my int is e, so <laughs> sorry. <laughs> Not important, it's the same thing. Um, question about that? It's very cool. <laughs> you, can have your own, uh, um, you can have your own specialization as long as you return a type. <laughs> type is very important and not any other word, not return type, not. The standards say that it's type, so it's type, yes. Yep. And this is very useful because add, I must say add is not very useful, but max. I can, I can put um, max of the, uh, of the size of. And with this, return the, the maximum size that I want to contain. And this is exactly what std variant does behind the scene. But, uh, easy. One specialization. You're one specialization to your own algorithm. Uh, oh, yeah. Shoot. Um, all of this was first implemented by Odin Ohm, well, in the Boost TMP uh, library that you can check. Um, I, I, I'm near finishing. Well, not exactly, but we have fun. <laughs> uh, so credits to him. Um, we'll just continue on uh, how we will implement this top, uh, a tuple ourselves, using everything that we learned. So the, the standard way to implement a tuple is you have tuple that will recursive that will inherit from a tuple that being tuple implementation of zero and uh, every type that you provide if you're not familiar with tuple it's exactly that uh, uh, the type list but it contains the type okay but for that if we have a tuple m that only contain e and one type we're going to say t data this is the standard way we're not going to do that i'm just saying how we're going to do it and tuple impl have an int 
or unsigned, it doesn't matter, since we're starting with zero. And every time we're going, and when we, we are arriving at this type, um, it will inherit from the first, and then inherit from the rest. <laughs> All of those, by incrementing by one. So what is that? Well, it's exactly itself, so it's recursive, and we, we continue with every single one of them. But the problem is, first, we, 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 are on, we are only interested by when we have one type and one index, and every single one of them is insatiated. This is bad, because it's, 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 it's dead weight. The compiler must do, do uh, all the things you pr we provide there, but it's, it's not useful. We're not doing anything very special. We, we are only interested in this. So our way to do that. First, we're, gonna, we're going to um, forward declare our, our template. <laughs> it will make things easier. We're going to have a tuple, a dispatcher, wi which will be uh, specialized to only contain one list, and uh, two lists, sorry, one list of index and one list of every type you want. And, and we, when we have a, uh, one index and one type, we only say tuple impl with the t data. Obviously, I'm, I'm simplifying, but you get the idea. OK. So the goal is for our tuple dispatch to have two lists and to tuple and pull and expand in one step, one and only step. And that's easy, because we have two lists of exactly the same size, so we can expand them in one go. This is allowed. So you can do. It will result in tuple of impl 0, the first type, 1, the, the second type, and et cetera, up until minus, uh, index min minus number of uh, size of ts, dot, 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 minus 1. Sorry. Yes? You have type name, dot, 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 ls, type name, dot, 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 ts. Yep. So that was said what I was not allowed at the beginning, so I did something. What? Specialization. Uh, this is a specialization. Oh, yeah, this is not. Yeah, Sorry. <laughs> Yeah, but 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 I'm I'm allowed to do this there because I'm this is the the signature the first time we see the, the compiler see tuple dispatch, and now I'm I'm only specialization specializing specializing it to when I am receiving two lists. Uh, play with it. Now, how do we get that with li two lists, one containing every every single TS that we will receive? And this one containing the e, the, the type index that I've I've made. Um, the int zero to int n minus one. So this is what I will show you. Damn, <laughs> that's so nice. <laughs> okay. Okay. Let's let's start by the beginning. Fork is I'm splitting up this one, those inputs. It's insanely powerful. I I I'm receiving. Oh, I'm res okay. First of all. This is a type def of what I call a tuple meta function that will put into, well, well there. Why? Because I can. <laughs> I could have put fork to there inside of this, and it will work perfectly. It's exactly the same thing. But I just wanted to show, well, first to show off, and then to isolate the, the meta programming. So fork, take two lists of input there, split them into two. And the last, the, the fork is very special that it, the last one is always a continuation. It was, a, it was a mess to program. So fork will continue with the length. Length of ts is the number of, of them, not size of, because it's not exactly the same thing, size and length. I, I choose to use length as a, as a way to say size of dot, dot, dot. So we'll continue with, let's say, 5, doesn't matter. And we'll make a sequence of 0 to 4 using the, the, the number that we receive from length. Easy, <laughs> easy. Um, and then we are splitting this up with listify. So we have a list of 0 to 4 and a list of every type that we have here. And we continue with quote that, we were, I, rem that, I, uh, that I said it's exactly like lift, but you don't call type. So we will, it will tuple and just put those, those inputs and continue with a tuple dispatch of list of two lists. This is exactly what I want, because I'm going to inherit from this type. So we have tuple dispatch of list list. Easy, <laughs> easy. 
and we are going to uh, expand the, 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 the inheritance. Uh, yeah, I didn't forget anything there. <sighs> and this, and why does I want a list of ints? It's not, there's a very good reason. The reason is that wh wherever I am in the, in the class tuple dispatch, there, I have access to this list of blah, blah, blah. Hey, it is supposed to be a list there. Sorry. <laughs> so this, this is supposed to be a specific, uh, th the same thing as there. So we have, um, yes, OK, yes, yes, sorry. <laughs> OK, we're going to program get. Get is very easy. It's simply, you, you say get bracket an uh, 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 int there index here we, and we are going to get this the, this in the, uh, the type position exactly where we want so we have this is the return type <laughs> so we're going to call index of ts that we have there and this is exactly what we uh, what get does it get the return type at exactly this position and this is the function name uh, I cannot do a type dev there. Well, that's it. I just have to repeat myself. That's that's okay. We're going to to rewrite call the type at index, whatever it is, the requested type, and to get this type, the internal data, we're going to return tuple impl that we re that we remember we inherit from. The colon colon said so the, the one that we inherit from, at index requested type, and we're going to get the data by reference. And we're going to return this as a reference. Boom, it worked. It's, it, it worked. <laughs> That's simply how you get access to this data that is there in one simple go. Well, this, it's, for simply getting data, it's, it's, really, it's, a, it's a weird way to do it. <laughs> yes, do you have a question? Oh yeah, you can decay it. You can do whatever you want. It's just that I, I just wanted a simple e example for uh, this t type meta programming. Me this type. I just wanted them to be to be easy. But I'm um, for the moment. What I'm doing is also replacing every void by uh, a nothing t by something that represents nothing, and this allows me to have a tuple of void. <laughs> and I have a good reason for that. I want to hold. I, I, I don't. <laughs> yes. Okay. Uh, make as tuple. The goal. The goal of make as tuple is to provide. To um, I want to make as tuple. Get this type. This type represents all of the constructor uh, arguments that that you must provide sometime. And just call them. I'm going to just. Type name u, I don't know what it is. Oh, see, I've changed list. <laughs> I'm going to return a u, I don't know what it is. So we're going to call make, make as tuple, let's say dummy that take a string and an int. We're going to return a dummy construct with, oh, what is that? Ex it's expand, so it's, we have access to all of the ints and we have access to all of those um, types. So we're just going to get the data, tuple and pull. That, and boom, that, that, that's how I do it, in one simple line. Next, what? yes. What does it return? It returns the thing you want. <laughs> yeah, but what, what is it doing to make that tuple? It's, um, okay, Your, the, the tuple that you have, I, it's like an initializer list, okay? But instead of an initializer list, you have a tuple, and you want to use Tuple as an initializer list. I don't choose the name. This is the standard one. <laughs> uh, does it respond? Yeah. Okay. Okay. So it just put a, it just constructing the type whatever you want with every member of this tuple. Oh boy. Okay. Because tuple has a problem. It doesn't have a visit. Oh boy. Okay. Visit is based on variant. Variant. When you visit a variant. You provide the type that a series of, of lambdas, let's say, that you overload with std overload. 
And depending on the value that con the variant contain, it will call the, the correct overload. So you can, it, this is a way to have a bunch of, of lambda of, of, um, of different types and the correct one will be called. So you can play the, 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 the value of variant as the type it is supposed to, to represent. I'll show you an example if I don't, ha I don't have uh, internet. No problem. <laughs> See me after the, <laughs> the talk. Okay, visit, visit. The first visit as tuple is simple. We'll take the exact opposite, the, no, the very same as make as tuple. We're just going to visit. We're going to call the call operator of this type. I don't know what it is. It's a, it's a, it's a lambda with every uh, value of tuple as an argument. So you just fill the void <laughs> and it will work in one simple line. And now the, the complicated one. So if we have a lambda, and we put every single tuple values inside of it as a function, the coronary or, the, or the, the inverse of that is to call one lambda with each of them values one at a time. And this is what I call the fold trick. The fold trick is very simple. Uh, you do a const, you declare an array, and if I was to just write curly break curly brace bracket and uh, one, two, three, it will work. But if I put a comma, the comma will be done in order and we'll just do this expression um, before creating, uh, uh, constructing the, the array inputs, if it makes sense. I'm not interested in the one, two, three. I don't care. I don't care at all. The only thing I'm interested in is, is this expert, <laughs> expert. And if I have to, to put a, a, a comma there, I will. <laughs> because the, the, the other way to do it is very long and painful to read. But the one-liner is so much easier. <laughs> but it's eager. <laughs> it is eager. <laughs> yes? Yes, I know that in C++ 17 you can do a co uh, you can expand you can fold expression by simply but I'm in C++ stand std equals new plus plus ox so let me get <laughs> let me play with what I have <laughs> okay uh, so we're going to do the same thing this is exactly as if I declare an array I'm going to do a, an array of bool, and I don't even have to say how many of them I want. It will it, it, it know what it is, so it know the correct number of ti of uh, the the correct size size of this uh, array. But I don't care. I don't care at all. <laughs> the only thing I'm doing is every time that we every for every single one of them, I'm going to do false, but before that a comma, the expression I want. So we're going to call this lambda with the correct value. <laughs> <laughs> one at a time, in order, for, ev for, for, uh, for uh, everywhere. Yes? Sorry again. Yes? Uh, for the every, every fold trick, uh, you want to be careful uh, because uh, DTC has an extension for a zero size array, so this trick might have worked. But usually, you'll want to put a zero comma I didn't, uh, I didn't know that. I didn't know that. But you know what? Why would I have a tuple of nothing? <laughs> <laughs> okay. And this is my last slide. I just wanted to show you the void because it was a, a real pain to not return the void. But I'll, I'll, I'll keep a secret on what it is returning because now I'm returning something. <laughs> and it's, it's a little bit crazy, but I'll have to do very fancy thing. Oh, and as uh, just other thing to say, I've implemented a visit index that you provide all of the index you want to visit, and it will visit them one by one correctly. In one line, <laughs> in one line, very important. Uh, does I have anything else to show? Oh yeah, just as an example of how you do variant. First, you change every tuple variant, uh, tuple dispatch, tuple impulse, and you change it by variant, very easy. Uh, null variant impulse doesn't contain anything <laughs> except function. Variant dispatch contains the, the, the aligned storage of 
it's, it's the thing that, con that contains the value. It also contains the index. And this is exactly the same meta function, except that I changed the tuple to variant, blah, blah, blah. And to s I will not show everything, but the goal is simply that the dispatch calls, um, where is it? Okay, we are in variant dispatch set. The f we're all again calling the full trick. Is it found? Oh, this is not in commentary, sorry. Is it found? And does the index is equal to the index? So this is a value, and this is a type <laughs> that is, uh, uh, how do you call it? Con that convert to another t to uh, 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 int. And if it is the, cur the, the, for every single one of those type, if the current one is the one, we're going to set found to true, so this will never uh, happen again. And we're going to call the tuple impl uh, the, of the correct type with the correct index, set impl because I needed something to just send, a uh, send, um, send the data to it. We're going to send value. What is value? This is not value. The oh yeah, the, the, <laughs> the thing there <laughs> that we provide as an argument of as a function argument, and we're going to pass the storage. Where is it? as a reference. <laughs> and we're just going to call placement new on it, and it worked. In one line, <laughs> two, two lines. Yeah, that's it. <laughs> so <laughs> yeah, so that was a little bit longer than I expected to. How, how, how long did I? Uh, uh <laughs> <laughs> I buffer overflow <laughs> way more than that. <laughs> yes. Um, I'll, I'll provide my own question because <laughs> 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 because it's so it's so it it's um, it's difficult to talk about it, it especially when you are not introduced to it. Even if I've showed you like four 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 or five different ways to do the same filter, it's not the same thing, and you have to. Rewire your, your your brain every time. In, in CPP ML that I've just uh, discovered, they don't use the same keyword and it messed things up so much in in mine <laughs> that it's, uh, it, it make a, it, I cannot use it as easily as as uh, my library, which is compatible with GCC 4.3. Important to say. <laughs> um, so the very first question, um, the very first thing that I remarked was it's extremely addicting. God, it's. You, you, you don't ask, you're just asking the, the compiler whatever you want, and it will return with the correct things that you have to, that you, that you, that you ask. So for the index, tuple and variant are very easy, let's say, where you just ask as an, um, you just ask for the index and you receive a type. Um, there is some complication because I wanted to do my life a little bit harder with visitation on tuple and variant. Um, so I'll just say that this is the easy part. The, the non-easy part was doing my own align storage. Yeah, because e calculating the max size is easy, but it's just going into the compiler intr intrinsic to call align correctly on that. This is weird, especially if you want to be um, uh, compatible with MSBC. Uh, next thing, I've seen so many compiler errors, it doesn't make sense. <laughs> There is, uh, no, I'm just, I'm, I'm, I kind of get it on what the compiler is trying to do, and it's very stupid. Every time that, my, that, I, uh, that I receive a compiler error, even if I fight very hard, I know that he's right. <laughs> it's just that I don't know how, why yet. <laughs> but he's always right, always, that, and that's crazy. Um, and the thing that is missing in standard, any standard compiler, it's not any of, of those fancy words like range and everything. No, the, the thing I want is equivalent to size of dot, 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 um, the T, S. What I want is an index dot, dot, dot of T, S. That whenever I expand it, it will return just a number. That's all I need. The number of time I, I'm just creating a, 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 a new struct with the list of all of, this, of its index. If I add just the index of dot, 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 and just pla place it there and just expand it as I go, and it, 
and it only uh, returns an uh, int, I'll be very, very happy. I'll take all my code and throw, in, throw it into the, the garbage. <laughs> it's, it's insane. Yes? Ah, uh, yeah. Stood and that sequence mm -hmm. is uh, an intrinsic to generate yeah. Yeah. Uh, that. Um, I, will n I don't use an intrinsic, so I'm probably uh, slower. But I don't have any intrinsic. <laughs> so, <laughs> so, <laughs> so that's the difference. <laughs> um, uh, I'm for this, I'm not very interested. This is like one part of the completion that is there. It's not. And since I'm using a login algorithm, it's, it's oh, right. I don't care. Um, the for the moment, all of my tests and all of my tuple, my variant, and my optional all compile and is tested under compile my my local instance of a compiler explorer in four seconds. And I have a lot of tests, but well, not a lot of tests. I have three thousand lines of tests. <laughs> <laughs> all of them are implementation. <laughs> um, yeah. Uh, any question? <laughs> cool. <laughs> so this is the end of the recording. Thank you. Oh, this is the page.